Many companies have accepted some financial crime as a cost of doing business. Whether it comes from within your organization by an insider threat or somebody actually doing business on your behalf, or outside your organization from organized fraud rings, cyber criminals, and so on. In the landscape is wide, but there's a silver lining. Taking on these challenges also represents an opportunity to generate real value to your brand and to your bottom line. Conventional fraud management depends on rules. People should behave like this. People shouldn't behave like that. Unfortunately, this rules-based approach is binary. What this approach misses is that shade of gray in the middle that financial criminals identify and exploit. Rules-based approaches are also labor-intensive, since they typically result in false positives that cause more work. Last, it's important to note that individuals, not transactions, commit financial crimes. I mean, rules tend to be very transaction-focused, so they often miss the big picture. In all, this fragmented approach has trouble keeping up with evolving financial crimes. So your company may keep suffering loss and be two steps behind the issues. You can dramatically reduce business risk with Enterprise Fraud Management, or EFM. Now, EFM applies cognitive-powered analytics to whatever data is ingested, whether from your company's ERP or operational systems, internet-related activity, or other third-party data sources. These kind of analytics allow you to quickly correlate this information to proactively identify potential threats. Now, EFM adoption doesn't have to be expensive or painful. Your company is probably already applying analytics to very sophisticated business challenges. So EFM likely won't require your company to acquire new technologies. It's just another use case for tools your company may already have. You probably also have the data you need because just about every action in today's enterprise leaves a digital footprint. And the rewards at EFM can be significant. They include substantial reduction of direct financial losses due to financial crime, better protection of your brand, better audit results, and much better use of your people's time and talents. If you want to reap the benefits at EFM, here are three things to keep in mind. One, start small. By launching your EFM journey with modest initial scope, you're going to avoid those boil the ocean problems and score quick wins. It's important to show that initial ROI because it generates a business case for you to continue scaling your efforts going forward. Two, cut across silos. Recruit stakeholders from other parts of your organization and identify data that's out there. The more information that you're able to put in the machine, the smarter the results coming out. Three, we understand the rapidly changing nature of risk in the digital enterprise. And we know you need to mitigate that risk quickly and resource efficiently. That's why our EFM practice is such a compelling resource for business leaders who recognize that the digital future requires something more than anti-fraud methods from the analog past.